I think somebody wants to play. Come on. Come on, old man. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I got a little early goose season loadout. We got about 14 days until early goose season starts on September 1st here in Michigan. Me and Mossy been doing a little little training, nothing too hard, you know, he's he's 12 years old. We come out every day and do about four or five bumper runs, maybe two or three times a day. He does really well holding birds. Only thing, only problem we have is our break. That's our only problem. Yeah, I just keep my hand on him, on his neck lightly. I don't grab him or hold him. We just get a nice 15, 20 yarder, let him mark it. He's been doing really well with that. And he just, he just wants to retrieve. That's all he wants to do. So just give him a shorty. What do you say we go get our goose load out ready? So if you haven't yet, go down there and, uh, and subscribe. So we're gonna talk about be getting yourself prepared for early goose season. Let's kind of get into the gear we're gonna need. Before we get into our hunting gear, let's first make sure we have our hunting license. Get your license. Refresh yourself on all the rules and regulations. Uh, it's one other thing that's pretty important, I feel like. Let's get that federal duck stamp. As waterfowl hunters, you know, we are required to have a federal duck stamp on our license. It costs $25. Uh, all that money that we, as duck hunters, spend on our duck stamp, I, th I don't know the percentage, but it's not quite all of it, but it's a good chunk of that. $25 goes right back into conservation. That goes for uh, all you bird watchers out there, even if you're not a hunter. With that said, let's get into some of the things. It's still pretty warm out, but it's cool in the mornings. Uh, we, we can get mid 50s, low 50s in the mornings, and then up into the 90s by 10 o'clock, you know. So a lot of times I find myself wearing a t-shirt and then maybe a one of my Sitka long sleeve, really light, just something that I can shed if I need to. For this time of the year, there's still bugs. We still got bugs bothering us. Make sure you have your bug spray or your thermocell. I have a thermocell as well. Couldn't find it, I don't know where it's at. It's some water. <clears throat> you know, you're out there with your four-legged friend. Let's talk about them for a minute. They're the ones that really are doing, doing the work. So we wanna make sure we have water keep them cool, as well as some kind of a Benadryl or some kind of an antihistamine in case they get stung or get into a, a plant and have some kind of allergic reaction. It, it might not happen, but it's good practice just to have something in your blind bag. We got some, some shells, nothing big, real inexpensive off of eBay. I've had these for 12 or 13 years now. I don't use them anymore, but they are a very inexpensive tool for a hunter to use, give you some good motion on a light windy day. These things will really dance around. And then I have these actually, which are some old final approach, lesser decoys. I've had these for a long time. They've been reflocked and painted a few times. That is a full body goose decoy. I have moved away from these and gone all silhouettes. I run dive bomb V2Fs, uh, fully or with the flocked heads. I think I've got seven dozen uh, here that I have. Another guy I hunts with, hunt with, he has six dozen of these and then a dozen of the socks. I will say that these things are so nice to put in the ground, man. Uh, quick setup, easy takedown, saves a lot of time putting decoys in and out in the field. With these, they're already in the bag. They've already got their stakes in there. They're very friendly to the hunter to put out. We takes I'd say 12 minutes to put out that whole seven dozen that I've got. Really easy, real fast, saves you a lot of time. Next thing uh, that I'm running this year that I'm gonna be using is a uh, stacked load. This is Migra, three inch BB2 stacked, one and a quarter ounce, 14, 30 feet per second. I shot these last year on geese, and I will say that I never had any Issues with them cycling through my shotgun. I shoot a Browning Maxis. These are clean shooting. Just They're just a really good load. I'm thinking about doing a uh, little video on patterning your shotgun. I have, so I have these BB2s for geese and I have two fours, stacked two fours for ducks that I'm gonna use this year. Really excited for the duck loads. Again, like I said, I shot these last year on geese and I really, really liked them. 
I'll look into the Migra or look into the Boss. There's Kent, there's Federal. There's a lot of good, a lot of good shot shells out there. Uh, we got our goose flag. Get the bird's attention if you need to. From far distances, see that flag out in the field. Just maybe get a lock on it. We got our dog blind. This is a Cabela's Northern Flight dog blind. Real nice, really easy, convenient. It's got one pole in here uh, that you take down. The whole guy collapses nice and flat. So I really like that dog blind and it's big. Make sure you got your shotgun. Early goose season is, is a lot of fun, uh, blowing on calls. I did pick up a new goose call this season. Practice as much as you can. It's fun to call, but you don't want to be a, out there sounding like a dying goose instead of a real goose. You want to sound good, you know? So that'll be fun. Another thing we need out there is our uh, A-frame or our layout blind. Something to, our, to conceal ourselves. So right here will be a link to uh, my concealment video. If you want to take a look at that, I go over... Um, A-frames, panel blinds, layout blinds, and a little bit of pit blind. If stuff it's your first time and you're not, you know, you don't have all the gear, uh, you just want to kind of try it out, find a guide service. Go onto your fish and game website, Department of Natural Resources, and do a little research. You can find a guide in your area that could take you out, put you on the birds for a little bit of money, and you don't have to have all the equipment. It's just an exciting time of the year. I'm so excited to pull the trigger and be out in the field with friends and family. Fall is my favorite time of the year. Get all these things ready. You know, get your bug spray or your thermocell ready. Get your, uh, your ammo ready. Get your gun ready. Get it cleaned and prepared. Make sure you got everything you need for your dog. Water. Please get your dog's water out there. It's hot. You know, early season goose hunting, it's, it's hot. Make sure you have your licenses and your stamp. And refresh yourself on all your rules and regulations in your, in your state so that you're on top of it and you know what's up. Early goose season is, is, is a blast. Still nice out. The weather is decent. Um, mornings are cool and the birds will be moving. Young geese are a lot of fun to call. They're a lot of fun to work and bring them into your spread and they're young you know they're not intelligent good time to bring kids out it's nice and warm still so get yourself prepared get these things you need to uh, keep yourself comfortable out there in the field whether it's bug spray or whatnot find yourself some decoys pick up some dive bombs uh, I swear by these things I have gone completely in the silhouettes not gonna be running any full body goose decoys this year Hey, I hope this video gets you prepared for early goose season. I'm excited. I'm ready to start chasing the waterfowl. I'm ready for cool weather. I'm ready for north winds. Hit that little notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload. Like I said, uh, get yourself prepared, get ready, and hope you all have a good early goose season. Till the next one, see ya.